What's going on my dudes? Welcome to the channel. I'm Quinny Bags and today my dudes I'm gonna be teaching you everything you need to know about Minecraft frogs that we actually know of right now in Minecraft 1.19 So let's go ahead and get started on this video If you guys are new to this channel and you guys like frogs, don't forget to like comment and subscribe All right, so welcome to the channel dudes today We're gonna be learning all about frogs that we know of right now in Minecraft 1.19 So today we're going to learn so frogs are basically a passive mob that can spawn in swamps. As you guys can see here, there are only one variant of the frog with us right now, but we're actually going to see every different variant in just a few seconds. Now, frogs are actually going to be found in swamps and mangrove swamps as well. Now, mangrove swamps aren't in the game just yet, but as you guys can see here, we have a swamp here, and this is where you're going to be able to find these frogs. Now, I talked about three different color variants, so we're going to go over those color variants right now. So on the screen here, you can see three different color variants of the Minecraft frog, and we have a chart here that says the temperate frog, the cold frog, and the warm frog. So those are going to be all the different biomes you can actually find these frogs in. Now, of course, there is one thing here, though. Frogs actually, um, they grow up from tadpoles, obviously. So when they grow up in that biome and they become frogs from the tadpole, whatever biome they're in, they will choose that color. So the tadpoles will all look the same until, of course, they grow up in whatever biome you're in, and then they will go and pick that color depending on the biome. Now, just for an example here, I decided to go ahead and spawn in a ton of tadpoles here. And as we can see, there's lots of tadpoles. Um, so if the tadpole grows up inside this biome, it will actually turn into a cold frog, which will be green instead of the orange. Now, I'm just going ahead and dropping a bunch of tadpoles. If you guys don't know what tadpoles look like yet, these are what tadpoles look like, as you can see here. And yes, of course, if a tadpole is outside of water for too long, like anything, even like the oxalotls, it will die die slowly and it looks like it's about 20 seconds here now if we want to go ahead and breed two frogs to get a tadpole all you got to use is two slime ball one slime ball here one slime ball there as you guys can see they bred now the frogs will search for a location like a water slot here um, eventually one of them whichever one's the female i assume will eventually go on the water and have some eggs i'm just kind of waiting i'm going to push them onto the water here and let's see if he does his thing or she let's see just give it a minute all right that frog just swam away I, I don't know where it's going so we're just gonna we're gonna test this on multiple frogs here just to get a good example so we can actually see the tadpole egg so just give it a little bit here oh okay here we go here we go so this this frog actually went ahead and laid some eggs and as we can see here here's the frog spawn so these actually will generate tadpoles now i don't think you can stomp on them to break them but i don't think it takes very long for them to hatch here so oh there you go they just laid some more eggs over there um so eventually these will turn into tadpoles and of course if you want to kill your frog friends which i i don't know why you want to do this but just in case you do you'll actually gain one to three experience points from killing them Kind of sad. I don't know why I'm killing all these frogs. Now, one of the coolest things about these frogs, they have the ability to make these frog lights. These frog lights are really, really cool. Check them out. They even sound cool when you put them down. They sound squishy and spongy. And basically, how frogs actually create these is they kill magma cubes and they eat them. Watch this. Watch this. Hey. Hey, you're supposed to eat them. Hey, there we go. Hey, did you see that? So there you go, as you can see. So if you have the temperate frog, you actually get the ochre frog light, I believe it's called. And then if you have the cold one, you get the verdant. And then if you have the um, warm one, you have the pearlescent light. So basically, whatever frog you have that eats the magma cube, it'll uh, poop out that block, which is pretty awesome. You got to admit, that is absolutely amazing and so exciting to see. We're going to be having some new farms come along with us in the new Minecraft update with which I'm just so excited to see. It's going to be so interesting to see the farms that people create using these frogs to get these light blocks. Now, other than that, the frogs can still kill other things. They can kill slimes. Now, they can't kill big slimes. They can only kill small slimes, which makes sense um, because it's more their size. And uh, slimes do spawn inside of swamps. 
So it's going to be interesting to see our uh, our frog boys killing slimes. Now, this could also be used inside of slime farms, which is something I thought was a really, really cool idea to bring up. Is uh, Normally, we use magma blocks or something to kill the slimes when they drop down. Now, we're going to be able to use maybe some frogs variants into these uh, slime farms to collect up these slime balls. Because as we can see, they go ahead and kill them. But of course, they only kill the small ones. So they don't actually kill full-size slimes. So I don't know how useful they will be. But it's still a pretty cool idea to throw them into a slime farm. And like I said about killing frogs, they only get experience, but they don't have any drops yet. The only type of drop you can get is when you actually um, when you actually go ahead and make them kill a magma block. So sadly, we get no blocks or anything, no drops, except for a little bit of experience points. But still a very, very cool mob that is uh, going to add a little bit of effect to Minecraft and, you know, make it a little bit more scenic when these mangrove swamps come around and, of course, inside of our regular swamps as well. All right, my dudes, that's going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed learning everything about the new mob of minecraft 1.19 the frog if you guys enjoyed it don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you for watching my dudes and i hope to see you in the next minecraft video peace out my dudes